friends, welcome to Art Around the World. As you can tell by that song, we are traveling to Hawaii today. So I got my ukulele with my little figment on the back, of course, and off we go. I hope you'll join me. Thank you for flying Art Express Airlines. Flight 123 now leaving for Hawaii. Our flight time today will be approximately 20 seconds. We are now making our descent to the Hawaiian Islands. We realize you have a choice in air travel and thank you for flying Art Express. So today I want to talk to you about a type of art that you can find in Hawaii and really in all the little islands around the Pacific and it's called tapa. Sometimes when you're in Hawaii they might call it kapa and I've got a little piece right behind me I want to show you real quick. There it is. Hawaiian tapa. Take a closer look at this piece of tapa. You probably notice that it uses repetition to create the design. You might see tiny little circles or little lines or a leaf shape where the leaf is repeated, or you might even see three lines with triangles on top that have been repeated. Remember, that's called repetition. We learned that in the lesson before this one. This is another piece of tapa, but I wanna to talk to you about how tapa is made. So Hawaiians take the bark from the mulberry tree and they strip it and they soak it in water and then they pound it very, very flat. And then they put different pieces on top of each other and they kind of pound them together. So you could see that little corner showed you a little piece that had been pounded flat on top of another little piece. And that's how they create it. This is the last piece of tapa we're gonna look at today. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what tapa was used for. And it actually had many different uses. It could be used as a gift. It could be worn as clothing. Tapa could be quite large. It could be used as a rug or even a really large wall hanging. And you would find tapa in every home in the Polynesian islands. Remember, not just Hawaii, but in Tonga and Samoa and all the little islands around the Pacific would have some type of tapa in their home. If you look at the colors of the tapa, you notice there's kind of a reddish brown and a black. And those colors were made by uh, boiling bark and from different plants because remember they were using what they had available on their island. This was not a time where you could run to the art store and buy a tube of red paint. This was a time when you used what you had at hand. And so that's why we have certain colors only. I have a little brown bag here because I thought it was kind of the color of tapa, not perfectly close, but kind of like that. And originally I was going to cut my bag up and just use a little piece of it. But then I thought, oh, wouldn't that be cute to decorate it? And I can use it to store my art supplies in. So I have a nice place for my art supplies when I'm working from home. And I'm using the design that's in the middle of the tapa, the original one you can see right there from Hawaii. And I'm changing it a little bit. And that's okay to do as an artist. It's okay to take something and make it your own. And I'm making this a little bit more simple, but if you'd like to try it, just using simple lines to make that shape in the middle. There we go. And like I said before, this piece of tapa is from Hawaii. It was a gift from my sisters. When they were in Hawaii, they brought it back for me. So I keep it in my house now because it's such a lovely piece of art. And there we go, we've got our little design in the middle, a little more simplified. And I'm gonna put a little border around it. And it's not perfectly straight, and that's okay, because Tapa was freehand, no rulers, and we're good. For the rest of this lesson, I'm just gonna pick designs from the main tapa that I like and just kind of fill it in. And I might, like I said before, change the designs a little bit. I might simplify them or add a, a little bit here or there, but that's how I'm gonna finish it up. Just picking designs I think will be fun to try. I might have the colors change a little bit. Um, a design that might be white, I might make brown. We'll see just for fun. And you can do that as well. Remember, we're just 
learning and creating together. And I just want to remind you that we are using lots and lots and lots of repetition today. Look at me repeating these triangles over and over and over again. Um, so that's going to be a keyword in a lot of our art. And we're using a lot of our lines as well and our shapes. So draw along with me if you want or pause the video if you want. It's up to you however you choose to finish it. By the way, if any of you are fans of the movie Moana and you're feeling like you need to watch it, you're going to notice so many top of designs in that movie when you watch it, especially in the song You're Welcome in the background. So give that a try if you've got some free time. So there's my finished piece of tapa, and I hope you were able to draw along with me today. And as always, if you weren't, um, thank you for watching. And I'm going to open up a discussion with this lesson, so you are welcome to add any insights or things you enjoyed or things you want to share about this lesson on the discussion board. See you next time.